Hello friends. I hope all of you are doing well. I know it has been a long time since my last video. I was working on a fantastic project so I thought of sharing with you all. So this is the project. Uh, it is a project dashboard but it is a geo enabled project dashboard. Um, so here you can see on the left hand side it is showing various types of the project that is executed in a particular uh, city or say municipal area. So there are various types of projects and here is the checkbox. So you can switch on and off particular uh, project which is demarcated by a red point on the screen. Here um, these are the project stages. A project can be under design, construction or completed stage. So again these checkbox are marked so all the projects belonging to this stage are visible. And here you can see these are financial years. So all the years are displayed and projects of all the years are being displayed on the screen. So this left side panel on the middle you can see there are total 272 projects visible on the screen that belongs to either any of this project type or any of this project phase or any of this financial year. So there are total 272 projects. On the map area you can see all the projects meeting this criteria are visible with a red dot. There is a black dot I will explain you what is that. So on the extreme right hand side panel, we are able to see the project information. So there are total 272 projects visible on the screen. They are listed over here and the first project is being detailed over here. So this project belongs to this particular area. This is the project ID, whether it is on budget or behind schedule, description, budget, project manager and project phase. So this is the information being shown over here and the first one number of project is being displayed by a black dot. So now there are various ways to interact with this uh, project dashboard. This is entirely dynamic. All component left hand side of table of content, project listing, map area and project detail information. Everything is linked with each other. So let me show you first way to interact with this is I am right now able to see the project information of first project and this is the information. Now I can click on this button to see the project information of next project and you can see the black dot has moved from here to here. So this is the project where it is located geographically and then I can see all the information of the project, project ID, budget, manager and it is under design phase. Let me go back to the first project. It was under construction stage and it is located here. If I go to next, it is this project and it is under design phase. So this is how it is interactive. If I change some project here, it will show the project location on the map with a black dot. Other dots will remain as it is in the red color. So this is the first way of interacting. Second way of interacting is here. In this project listing area, I can click on any of the project and this black dot will move to this particular project. At the same time, project information area will also display detailed information of that particular project. So let me just click on this Collins Street uh, project. So if I click there, black dot has moved here and here project detailing is now showing for that particular project. So you can see project phase, responsible officer project manager, budget and all those things. Uh, so this is how I can interact with this project through project listing or through project detail by clicking next next button. So I can go on clicking in the project listing area and my project detailing will keep on changing. My map area will also change the black dot. Now so we have seen two ways of interacting with the project. One is through detail information. Second is through project listing. Third way is through zoom in and zoom out. So let me just zoom in on the map and what you should look at is this numbers. It should change based on my zoom in and zoom out. One more thing that will change is this area. Total 272 projects are being displayed. Based on zoom in and zoom out this number will change. At the same time one thing that I want to show you is budget of the project. Right now there are total 272 projects and they are totaling a budget of 180 million dollars right now let me zoom in and you should carefully see this area project listing and this project details and this budget all this thing will keep on changing based on my zoom in zoom out now let me just zoom in so i will just click on this plus button now you can see 
Now there are 196 projects visible on the screen. This is the first project out of 195. The budget has changed from 180 million to 154.92 million budget, which is covering all these projects that are visible on the screen. So now I can keep on zoom in and zoom out. You can see the numbers are changing dynamically. So this is such a fantastic project dashboard using GIS capabilities and other integrations. So I can keep on zooming. You can see the black dot is also moving based on my zoom in, zoom out. It is showing the first project on the screen with a black dot. I can continue to click next, 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 and it will show me all other details. So this is how it is, uh, you know, dynamic. I, right now I'm using scroll of the mouse or I can just pan. Even if I pan, the project information will change here, here, budget will also change. So all this thing. So let me just keep zooming and zoom out. It is such a dynamic project. So we have seen various ways of interacting with it. Now I can also just click on the map. I can click on this red dot. It is one of the project. I can just click there and it will show me the details of the project. So it is uh, fantastically user driven. User can decide the way they want to see the project details. So you can see this side will change uh, based on the user click on the map area. One more way to see the project detail is based on the project types and this checkbox. Now let me just zoom to the maximum extent. There are 274 projects. Now I don't want to see the community facilities project. So as soon as I uncheck this box, all of these area should dynamically reflect my interaction. So let me just uncheck this thing. And now you can see there are only 221 projects to show. Again, here it is reflecting 221 and the budget has changed from 171. It was earlier 180 based on this uncheck. So I can just click on unchecking the projects. You can see, and it is dynamically reflecting in all the areas. I can select any project and it is reflecting on the map. Similarly, I can check all this thing and I want to see only projects that are completed. So I can just simply uncheck this thing. There are 17 projects that are completed, visible on the screen. One of 17 is showing the details. I can just keep on going next, next, next. And I can see the details which are completed. And there are total $9 million of projects which are completed. You can see. Now, if I just uncheck completed, everything will vanish because there is no selection over here. Now, if I go under construction stage, there are total 79 projects which are under construction worth $104 million. And here is the detail. Okay, I can just click next, next to see the details. Again, under design, there are 178 projects which are under design stage and the budget is around $67 million. So this is how I can interact with map. Now one more way to interact is select the financial year. Right now when all these buttons are blue means all the, pro all the financial years are selected. Now I don't want to see the project of financial year 2021. So as soon as I click here, you can see the projects have changed from 274 to 262. Budget has changed. Number of points on the map has changed. This is also reflecting the change. So I can just keep on clicking on the map 2023. I don't want to see 2024. I don't want to see. So only 2022, there are 110 projects worth $82 million. And these are the number of points. These are the details. If I just again click 2022, none of the year is selected. So map is blank. If I click 2021, there are only 12 projects. If I add 2023, 164 projects, and this is how I can even filter the map data based on the year, based on the project phase, based on the project type, based on the user interaction, which is such a dynamic and user friendly way of showing project progress. So isn't it beautiful? I have developed this application for one of my client and he is finding it very useful. I hope you are also liking it. Let me know if you want to have this kind of a project or similar kind of a project for you. We can work together and have a fantastic project dashboard like this. Thank you users. Thanks for your time. Thank you.